So here we have the graph of a bunch of scatter points. And in order to find the domain of this graph, I'm going to do the same thing that we've been doing for all the other examples. I'm going to take my horizontal line or my horizontal pencil. And I'm going to test which x values my pencil is actually touching the graph. Um, so notice if I start at negative 5, my pencil is not touching the graph. At x equals negative 4, my pencil is not touching the graph. But at x equals negative 3, my pencil goes through the point negative 3, negative 2. So my pencil is touching the graph at x equals negative 3. At x equals negative 2, I'm touching a point. I'm touching the graph. At x equals negative 1, I'm touching a point. And at x equals 2, my pencil is actually touching two points. But even though it's touching the graph at two points, you only wrote it, write it in the domain one time. So our pencil is actually touching the graph only at the points x equals negative 3, x equals negative 2, x equals negative 1, and x equals positive 2. So our domain is going to be just those points. So I will write the point negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, and positive 2. So that is our domain, all the possible x values. So now in order to find the range, I'm going to take my horizontal pencil and I'm going to see where it touches the graph. So here I have my green horizontal pencil. And notice that y equals negative 5, it's not touching the graph. But the higher you go, notice that y equals negative 2, it touches the graph twice at two points. However, you only write that one time in the range. And once again, the higher you go, notice how at y equals 1, our pencil actually touches the graph twice at two points. Once again, but you only write it one time in the range. And also at y equals 2, our pencil touches the graph. So our pencil touched the graph three different times at y equals negative 2, at y equals 1, and y equals positive 2. So our range would be negative 2 positive 1, and positive 2. So most of you probably get the idea of how to find the domain and range given the graph. Uh, so let's just go over one last example. So here we have a circle that crosses the x-axis at negative 3 and positive 3. Um, that also crosses the y-axis at negative 3 and positive 3 as well. So in order to find the domain of this circle, I'm going to take my horizontal pencil and I'm going to see which x values that our pencil actually touches the graph. So here I have my horizontal pencil and notice that x equals 5 it's not touching the graph at x equals negative 4 not touching the graph and as soon as we get to x equals negative 3 that is the first point where our pencil is actually touching the graph. And notice how the pencil touches the graph for every point greater than negative 3 up until you get to the point positive 3. So since our pencil touches the graph at every x value from negative 3 to positive 3, our domain is going to be every value from negative 3 to positive 3. And since our pencil actually touched the graph at negative 3, I'm going to put a bracket around negative 3. And since our pencil actually touched the graph at positive 3, I'm going to put another bracket around positive 3. So in order to find the range, I'm going to take my horizontal pencil and I'm going to test which y values our pencil is actually touching the graph. So here I have my green horizontal pencil. Uh, notice that y equals negative 5. It's not touching the graph. At y equals negative 4, it's still not touching the graph. And at y equals negative 3, that is the first y value in which my pencil is actually touching the graph. And you can probably see that for every value greater than negative 3, it's still touching the graph up until the value positive 3. So since our pencil touched the graph for every y value from negative 3 to positive 3, our range is going to be every value from negative 3 to positive 3.
And since the pencil actually touched the graph at negative 3, negative 3 is included in our range. So I'm going to put a bracket around negative 3. And since the pencil actually touched the graph at positive 3, positive 3 is included in our range. So I'll put a bracket around 3 as well. So I hope this video helped you understand finding the domain and range given a graph a little bit better. If you need any extra help with live tutoring or homework solutions, please feel free to go to my website at mathmean.com. Once again, mathmean.com, and I would love to help you out. Also, if you like my videos and you like my style of teaching, please feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel, like me on Facebook, or follow me on Twitter. That way you can see my videos as soon as I upload them. Once again, thank you so much for watching, and take care.